So here's Joe Butterfield with Competitive Horsemanship. And we got my buddy Todd here. Todd's a professional steer wrestler. Uh, probably retired, wanting to be a professional team roper. <laughs> um, him and his wife have a, are getting into horses in a big way and they want to know how to do this on their own so they don't have to send their horses out and get some inadequate things happening to their horse to where they're scrambling for what to do next. So I'm going to start them on the right foot, but I talked to Todd here, my buddy Todd that's <laughs> shy from the camera, a um, couple weeks, three weeks ago, and I said, hey Todd, I'm going to come over and help you, but here's, go on YouTube, look up uh, the ground games on my channel, and just kind of get started, get, get acquainted to it. So he's like, he's like jumping up and down like a dog to <laughs> wanting to grab the ducks. Uh, wanting to show me what he knows. So great. I'm going to just stand back and, and watch what he knows and see if everything's where everything's at. I'll try and shut up until he's kind of given me his spiel and demo on what he's doing. And um, let's just have some fun with this. See what he knows. Go ahead, Todd. Awesome. Awesome. So, so the camera isn't silent, I'll just visit with you a little bit. Right. So one of the things, Todd, like you can wash them shanks, so let the end of it drop. Let your, let the other, yeah, there you go. Good job. Yep. Great job. Yep. I said I'd shut up. I'm having trouble with that right now, but not that he's not doing anything right. He's, he's doing an excellent job. I'm just going to have to go back and give him some tips. So as you're doing this, Todd, if you have any questions that you were like, I'm a little curious about, mm -hmm. go ahead and ask them. Okay. I was just kind of thinking I wanted to show you what I've been doing for the two weeks first and see where we're at. Yeah, then... but uh, along the way, if you're like, okay, this is what I'm doing, like, uh, cause I'm not gonna, this isn't like a school where I'm gonna grade you A, B or C. Like if you got, a ask them, ask the questions. Okay. You're doing a great job. So this, this is all proof to me that my videos work. So what did you on this, what you're doing right now what did you get out of this compared to what you were doing before we talked? I just noticed a lot of desensitizing maybe to, to, I don't know, maybe that's not right. Yeah, you're that's right. You're right on the, here. yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. You know, and then you, I find that I can treat her, she's a lot quieter and I can treat her more as a broke horse rather right. than what she is just by messing around with this as much as I have been. Now I'm just talking specifically on this game, right? Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Or are you talking about the games as a whole? Uh, just this game in general, but the game yeah. as a whole yeah. is something that's... Awesome. So I'm going to have to grade you like an A on this. Like, I'm not... The only thing like I'm going to say right there, and just for camera's sake, um, so he was doing... He, he almost got an A. And here's the thing that, you, just for safety sakes, guys, so right at the end there, when you do this, that is a big no-no. One of the reasons is, like, if, because we got some younger girls coming up here in a bit. So here's the thing. When you don't have a hold of that shank and you're doing that right there, and that horse just decides to jump and kick, he kicks you in the mouth, and we got to run you to the hospital. Right, but look at right there to where that horse just got on an angle there because the shank is in my hand to where I can go like this and get control of that horse. So me and Todd had a talk here before an hour ago and it was about 
what do you think these games are about, Todd? Like, what is your... He's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't know. So this is about lateral lunging. And I said, do you know what lateral lunging is? And he said, mm, not really. I said, so this is lateral. I can laterally control my horse through... See, there I didn't even get to pull on this horse and I could control him because when I can bend the head and neck, it knocks his hips out of the way and now I can control him. So that's what lateral lunging is because number one, this is a, this is a colt start. I forgot to mention that. Yes, he's saddled this horse and he's been on him. But what we're talking about here is that this is a potential problem with this horse is that we want don't want him to buck really we don't want our horses to buck how we can do that is we on the back can bend him before he gets strong because we pulled on two reins and got him strong in the hips to where he can lunge buck run whatever he wants but if i just got one rein have your shank in your hand. Okay. Ten minute story. Okay. Next game. Yo-yo game. Okay. Right there is a, you, you done great, but you missed three games. Well, I was just jumping, going. I wasn't doing it how. Okay, folks. Showing you how I was doing it. Exactly. Not in the order of so now you get a C minus okay. for not following the game. Okay. All right. What is game number two? I hope I'm right. Move that camera. What is it? The friendly game or the game? That's or... game number one. What is game number two? I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. Steady pressure. Do you know what steady pressure is? You're putting me on the spot now. I was just, well, that's why I wanted to show you what I had been doing, how I had been doing in my games <laughs> okay. in your your games the order that i've been doing them in all right steady pressure all right okay okay so just for camera's sake guys the reason that you do games in order is because one game leads to the next and one game the next game leads every game helps the next game basically but go ahead steady pressure Great job, awesome job. But I'm gonna give you, uh, I'm gonna give you a B. Reason being, so here's here's a good one for you folks. So the reason that we think of it like this, this is really good for you to know. So if you think of it, how do horses learn? What is it that makes them between the, the human and the horse? What what is the connection that makes them learn? It's feel. So my mentor played a game with us. So what we did was we had all the students pick a friend, and I had trouble finding a friend. But we would put a bandana on the one person, and the other person was obviously you could see, and you picked a little thing out of a hat that said, okay, make your, your partner climb over that bale, over the, that round bale. You can't talk, it's 
somehow you've got to get your partner over there to that bale and make him cl climb over it with one hand on his ear. Just say, okay? But well, you can't talk to him. So how are you going to do that? Right? Just say, feel. Yeah. That's how the horse learns. That, to make a long story short, right? It's all through. steady pressure game, the reason he got a B rather than an A plus was because, just so he knows, if he missed this, he's doing a great job. This, this is going to go really good this weekend because he knows a lot. But this nose is attached to this foot. This hand is attached to this foot. So in order to make a turnaround, this nose needs to tell this foot to go there, and then this hand needs to tell this foot to go there. This hand, this hand, this hand, this hand. So horsemanship through feel is I'm going to talk to that foot, try and make it go over there, then make this foot lift, then make that foot lift, then make this foot lift. So he didn't have his hand on that horse's nose. He was like this once he got it going around, right? We want this to, to feel like a bridle. This hand is feels like a bridle. All right? Yep. Great job. Just a little tip, right? Okay? Keep going. Perfect. You're doing great. Another long story. Yep. So I'm Joe. This whole Thank left you. Side make you back nice end now. I want you to do the front end again, but do it right. Okay. Okay. Show the show the camera folk that you can do it right. Nice job. All right. Gorgeous job. But you're going to get an A rather than an A minus, or rather than an A plus. Play the friendly game before and after oh, everything yeah. you do. The reason is because it's kind of like, listen to this, guys. So barrel racers, bulldoggers, calf ropers, horses jumping out of the box. This is a big conversation. I'm not going to make it big right now. But horses tend to assume a lot. So they tend to take over. The friendly game is played before and after everything we do. So the proper way to do this so this horse doesn't assume would be here I am in the starting position and I'm playing the friendly game, right? And then I pick my life up and then I get the feet going. That's the only reason you don't get an A plus and then I take my life down and I rub them to a stop. Right? Okay. Only reason you don't get an A because they tend to assume, and you know what you know what the word assume means? Yeah. Make an ass out of you and me. Right? Okay. More friendly before okay. and after everything you do. Okay. Keep your horses from anticipating. Oh, I said I was just going to let him do his thing and shut up. <laughs> uh, great job. See how that leg's stepping underneath? All right. Perfect. Now I'm going to give him... I'm going to bring something else up. He gets an A half a plus. Reason being is... This is going to be such a great weekend because there are going to be so many cool things because he kind of knows some stuff. Only thing he missed was focus. So he was looking down at these feet. Focus gives you feel, feel gives you timing, timing gives you balance. So you guys as barrel racers, we got a barrel racer over there, she's hiding. But um, how often were, were you told, don't look down at the barrel. If you look down at the barrel, your horse goes down, right? So if I was to do this here, I would go like this, and I'm looking where I want things to go, right? My head's up, my chin's up, but great feel to this horse. We're going to go back to the front end, my head's up, I'm looking where I want this horse to go. Feel gives you timing, timing gives you balance, okay? Focus gives you feel, yep. feel gives you
gives you time, time it gives you balance. Okay. Yep, so it makes perfect sense. A minus I'm, almost. I'm looking at the feet because I don't know enough. I want to make yeah, sure no. that she's stepping properly, but yeah. it makes perfect sense. It's per trust me, I do it too. Okay. Just because you're kind of more advanced than a lot that I help, I get to throw this nice little stuff okay. in. Stop. Hand on the muzzle part. What are you? Doing? I'm just kind of trying to get a side pass, side moving the rib cage over. Um, that's pretty advanced. Just okay. for right in the front end, hind end. We'll do sideways okay. some other game. Okay. Right. We'll do the right side. Then. Yep. how that horse is trying to assume right there yeah. so and that's how it de well, that's what desensitizes it keep your hand on his muzzle look up focus okay see how his muzzle got away from you yeah. okay there you go I want you to play enough friendly game that that muzzle does not get away from you okay. and again folks it might seem like it doesn't matter but again we don't want the horse leaving the box before we ask him this is where it starts. Wait for me to tell you. Right? Rub the nose too. Okay, stick your horn, stick your thumb behind that knot and rub. See that, that knot right there? Mm -hmm. Stick your numb thumb behind it and rub. Don't get you're doing great. You're doing great. Right big long circle. Yeah, but have your thumb ready. You're ready to start the game. Nice, nice. Now don't let him back up. There you go. Keep rubbing. Keep rubbing. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. You're still in the starting position. Nice long rub. Hook your thumb underneath there. Slow down. Calm. Slow. There you go. Now start the game. Look where you're going. Focus. There you go. Get the nose going. Look where you're going, get the nose going. Remember that nose controls that outside foot and then just put cement in your boots and rub it to a stop, okay? Good, nice job. So, I hope I'm not confusing him, but because he's pretty good at some stuff, I'm throwing these little things in now so he can win the games rather than just do the game. Mm -hmm. So, having cement in your boots a lot of people, because if you know a turnaround, a turnaround goes with the horse looking and thinking that way. So his nose is tipped that way and that foot goes like this. Anybody that's rode enough horses, if that head gets tipped this way, they get hitting, stumbling like this. So when you put cement in your boots to stop them, a lot of people like go, whoa, and they jerk them back. And that gets the head going like that. So then the head never wants to go this way because it knows it's going to eventually get jerked back. So that's why I like to take the life out of your body and rub it to a stop to keep the little bend in that. Okay. Because you're more advanced, I can throw these cool little tips in that'll make the difference. Perfect. Okay, cool. Good. I said I wasn't going to talk. Look where you're going. Great job. Nice job. Right, and then rub it to a stop. Rub it to a stop. Nice. That is an A plus right there. Have you moved these four quarters around to the left? I can't remember. Yep, I've done them all. All right, so he's done. What is game number three? In, in Todd's training, it was <laughs> this. Wrong. Quit, okay. quit, quit, quit. <laughs> All right, so one of the things was when I told Todd, like, go on YouTube and e any of my camera, any of my people out there in video land, like, get the games in order. Like, go on there, try and figure it out. Like, I, I think I've done a decent enough job. Game number one is friendly game. Game number two is steady pressure. Game number three is rhythmic pressure. Game number four is the yo-yo game. Game number five is a circling game. 
Game number six is the sideways game. Game number okay. seven is the squeeze game. Okay. Every game leads to the next game. Okay. All right, so get that right. All right. Uh, uh, huh? Okay. So now I get to play the yo-yo game. Nope. Rhythmic pressure. You said four was yo-yo. Four. We're on three. Friendly, steady, rhythmic. Okay. Do you know what that is? This is what yep, I've been you doing. got it. Nice job. Great job. Great job. Okay, good. Nice job. And rub that nose. All right. I've been having a little trouble. It's right. supposed to walk away from right. me when I okay. get cement in my boots. Great, great, great. So this is a this is probably the hardest game to teach people without me taking over. So I'm going to try and help you people with the rhythmic pressure game. And again, remembering that horses try and take over. They try and assume. So for this game, it really happens. And I'm going to give you some tips for this game. And it will work for other games that we're going to follow on horses that try and take over. First of all, again, we have to have a very good friendly game. And here's another thing that I haven't talked about a lot is starting positions. There is starting positions in everything that we do. And the friendly game has to have, have be, the, the friendly game will help the starting position. So right there, like that horse tries to take over. stand in zone two or three and get this game to work. Friendly game, friendly game, friendly game. This is my camera girl and I'm crushing her and she's trying to figure out how do I get this guy in camera because this horse is fading over towards me. So friendly game, friendly game, friendly game me standing in zone two and not accepting anything but me standing in zone two or three yep i get right that. That's, okay. and i'm playing friendly game mm -hmm. like right and it doesn't have to just be up there it can be everywhere here right and whistle gotta chew a snuff in right now right all right and be a stick's length away. So if I'm playing the friendly game here, and then all of a sudden I step away, they go, ah, oh, I know what's gonna happen, and then they anticipate again. So I've gotta play this from a stick's length away in zone three, right? If this horse was wanting to um, go forward, I would play it more in zone two. But I can tell this horse wants to suck back, yep. so it makes me stand more in zone three. So you read the play a little bit I there. read, the, yes, for sure, okay. for sure. There's no written program on plays for these guys, yeah. right? But you can see him by the way he's using his, like, sh this is a she, yeah. and she's like, oh, I'm having, mm -hmm. so I'm like, I'm hang out here for a while, all right? So now the next one is, I'm going to assume, like, I don't want to upset the apple cart here, so I'm going to just boom, 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 and I got some movement and rub. Just a little bit of movement. I'm not going to do any more than that. And more friendly game. I don't need to make a lap. I don't need to make a half lap. I just need her to understand the starting position and to move her feet when I ask. And pay attention. And she thought maybe them weeds were a better choice than paying attention. Now march. Switch. Rub. So here's the 
next thing that people do. They don't want to rub the nose because the nose, as she is kind of going, don't touch my nose. I'm like, no, I'm going to touch it more then. Mm -hmm. See, they want to rub here yeah. because this, they know that's a finicky yeah. spot. This spot here needs to be handled. See, she's saying, get that. No, uh-uh, handle it. Because I need that to move that foot, yep. just like the steady pressure game, right? And I need, so I need it to go first, okay? Boom, 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 boom. Then take my leg down, take my time, don't jerk her back. Okay. See how she's wanting to kind of, yep. I don't want that. I just take my life down and rub that to a stop. Take my time here. I'm still in the starting position. I need her to be in the right starting position. Now I start. Boom, 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 boom. See that bend I got? Yep. Now I take my life down and rub. Yep. Not in a big hurry here. All right, if that didn't work, Todd, here's the next one, guys. I might need to put a little rhythmic pressure here and bump her back as she gets going forward. See how I moved them feet yep. back right yep. there? Yep. Right, I might need that if she decides to go forward too much. So I'm gonna keep continuing on here and see if I can get to that point. Yeah, see how she stepped on yeah. that foot? And then quit. Now again, if she got going forward, okay. took a step back, and, yeah. I, and then I stepped with her. I'm not leaving zone two or three. Okay. So, Laura, when I do this, what I'm trying to say is, she wants me in zone one. Zone one is here. Zone two is here. Zone three here. Four on the rump and five back there. The reason is we do all of our work with these horses up here. And they get real comfortable with us up here. Mm -hmm. So they want to put us in that zone to be comfortable with us. Right? No, show me the front side okay. of what you learned. Okay. Other side. Make it difficult on you. Sticks length away. Rubbing the nose. 
more so the nose, sticks length away, that sticks longer than that. I know your belly's big, but. <laughs> and now, see how she puts, see when you step back? Yeah. All of a sudden, she puts you in zone one. Mm -hmm. See, you need to be in zone two and three, a stick's length away, and play that, but more so in the nose, Todd. Okay. That's the hard spot, stick's length away. Step back. See, you don't want it to go wrong because you know what's going to happen. Exactly See, right. that's what happens right there. All right, great. That's what you, that, now you're in the starting position. See, because when I leave here, yep, yep, nose first, look where you're going, and quit. Okay, now you see how you spun her back towards you? Kind of. Don't want that. All right, how are you going to diffuse that? So when you put cement in your boots, that doesn't mean they stop suddenly. You can drag your feet along and try and keep that arc in her body while she's slowing down. Okay, sticks length away. Now drag it to a stop. Take the life down, there you go. Good, rubber nose. Don't pull her back to you, right? These things matter. So now I'm you're not now only doing the games you're winning the games okay all right so I think we're on top of our camera so mm -hmm. get the frick away move the hind quarters around no I want this again one more I want to bring this home I want a touchdown here all right stick in the near hand near hand push that nose away and get back there there you go, good job. Sticks length away, rub the nose. You have no problems with the withers. Get, your, get it in both hands and rub the nose. Now you're, now we're stroking. Get the nose going and quit and rub. Rub the nose, right? So one of the things people, you did great Todd, did great. Get, get it ready for one more, go. How you diffuse a lot of this stuff is don't ask for too much. Like he got one step, quit, rub. 30 seconds later, you can start again. But we want this. And now you've upset the apple cart. Now you got your horse kind of scared, going like that. Now you're jerking him back. And now you're in this whole other kerfuffle. Add little increments by in little increments by little increments and then you don't ever have to work with the confusions that are going to set you way back. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and move her back end over. No, nope, you're going to do a little bit more. I want a quarter circle to yes, sticks length away. I want you to bring I want a touchdown here. See? You're wanting to move to the next exercise and this exercise is not really brought home yet. Yep, get back in zone two, three, stick in the near, there you go. Good job, good job, great job. Look where you're going and then quit. Slow down, drag your feet and rub the nose, rub the nose. I find that I try to keep, keep going to keep up with the horse. That right, but I, as you know, you all you're looking for is try. Try in the direction that you're going and then reward it and then do it again and then do it again. All right, so you shouldn't have to keep up if you haven't done too much. Do very little. Boom, 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 boom. Quit and rub, rub, rub the nose. Quit rubbing the withers. The nose is worse. Yes, yes, great job. Get ready to start again. Stay in that spot. Yeah, uh, uh. So when they see how she's doing that there, so I just start like this. Because this is a big thing in, in horse too. too. Horse want to eat grass, I don't want. Okay. You're getting their attention. Right? I'm, I'm like, if I have to, I'm going to hit you in the knee, mm -hmm. in the chin with my knee. Okay. Like, like do it with rhythmic pressure. Bump, bump, bump on the shin. No, 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 no. So, okay. 
So what's happening there? So let me let me just take over. Because every time you get in a bind, you pull her back to you. She's getting the habit of looking back to you. So we're going to start this here. And then I'm going to go a little farther and upset the apple cart. I'm not moving out of my zone. I don't want to jerk her back to me. See how she's still going? See how she's still going? See how she's still going? And this might get to phase four. things that I can manipulate to keep them doing it, but I need to know what to manipulate to stop them from getting away right. from things. And, and what he's trying to say there is horses assume, right? And they have their spots where they feel comfortable with us. We, make, we need to make new spots where they feel comfortable with us, okay? Do the hindquarters.
So the mayor, if the mayor wanted the cult to stop doing whatever, she's going to look at whatever she wants to stop doing what it's doing to tell it to get out of the way. So when I say focus, I mean focus at the hips to mean get the hips out of the way. Okay. Lead and focus, lift, swing, and I need two eyes, not one and a half. Rainers, rainers have to do this. They have mock raining competitions at just the neighbor's household with pylons set up, judges, music. So it simulates being in a competition because horses want to anticipate the lead changes, the lead departures. This is something that you have to do all through their lifetime. So you weren't watching there. I thought I got it was awesome. left side. I, I watch, I got eyes in the back of my head. Perfect. Other side. What zone are you in? Three? You'd be in four, bud. Yep. Four. Not four and a half, not three. There you go. Do you understand why? Yes, I do. I think I think I do. Better angle yep. to get them to, right? Over the horn with that indirect rain. Yep. Now slap the ground. Yep. Number three, rhythmic pressure. We moved the hind quarters around and we moved the four quarters around. What's the next game? Yo-yo game. Yes! <laughs> okay. Show us your stuff. I think he's been waiting for this all day. This is his game. <laughs> all right. So if I was to give you a score, I'm going to give you a B. Why? Now you're going to a B minus. Maybe because I didn't have. I don't know. You tell me. Okay. Pretty good though. Pretty damn good. All right. So because he just went on YouTube. 
YouTube and tried to figure this out on his own. We, we got to give him some latitude here. All right, so starting position, six length away. Good at life up, life down. So mean it, and then when she she reward, then when she gives you what you want, really like cock a knee and smile. Okay. <laughs> good just look at me for a sec when you retreat just like okay yeah 
Horses read body language better than you think. Lean back. There you go. Good job. There you go. Now we're winning the games. We're not just doing the games. We're winning the games. Game number five. Game number five. What is it? What? Oh, I know. <laughs> Circling game. Get a good start position. Now you've already been been given shit a few times for um, anticipating the game yourself. So get a good start position. Good job. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. videos you said three to five no yep. more than five and bring them out of it yeah oh, yeah. all right I'm gonna give you a B all right pretty good and again trying to understand what Joe was saying on the videos it's a tough one all right so get good at the starting position Number one, sticks length away. Number two, friendly game, right? So this doesn't become a weapon. Number three, understanding what the three parts of the circling game are. Send, allow, and bring back. All right? So if your horse doesn't make it around, you need more of a send. Okay. If he doesn't make it past your belly button at least three times. Thanks for checking in. A little bit of a friendly game, but I don't want you standing there. You did wrong, actually, by quitting. Start over. Lead, lift, swing, touch. Back to neutral. My body, neutral.
I got a string on the end of my rope. Cardinal sin, drop your stick. Yep. Cut it many times. Huh? Thanks for checking in. It's not what I want. <laughs> side. Alright, just got her pretty decent. Lead, lift, swing, the feet move. Quit. Checking in. Good thing. That's a good thing. Checking in. That's not what I want. There you go. Mm. Thanks for checking in. Not what I want. comes in now, Absolutely. see it diffuses that, mm -hmm. right? To where I can even, can I go here? Yep, good job. Mm -hmm. You've done a great job with the friendly game, so now I can get her back to using 
left side of her brain rather than the instinctive side, the right side of her brain. Okay? So she's like hooked on it. So if you help me out, then I'll help you out. Go. Alright? One more time. Basically, her first time of doing it properly, right? Or with the proper. And she's like, oh, I don't know about this guy. All right, come take over. Checking yeah. in, do it all over and send her. Like bring her in, nice quick touch, and then send her. Now send her. Get her out of your balance. Get her out of your. Yep. See, she's reading your language and she's saying, Thing, so I'm just going to hang out here and keep moving my feet. Alright, bring her in this time. Don't pass it. Don't pass. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. Take your time. Shorten up. Yep. Now reel her in. Yo-yo game. There you go. Wasn't perfect. Probably a 6 out of 10, but okay. Good enough. Alright. Other side. Slow down. Out of your space, get in the starting position. I want to teach you the starting position. Yeah, with a friendly. Yeah, see how she. Yeah, use your. Yeah, use yeah, use the other games. There you go. Look where you want her to go. Focus. There you go. Nice. Let it slide. Give you a yep. Keep, look at them hind quarters. Reach around. There you go. That's good. Yep. Keep going then. Really look around with your body and your leg. Yeah. See that indirect rain? That's awesome. Awesome. Good job. I love how you stuck with that. That there's a, a really cool thing you did. A lot of people don't get that. You okay. stuck with that indirect rain. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Good. 
Do you know the sideways game and the squeeze game? Have I'd you done like, it? I'd like to play the belly button game. What is that? That's the one you show them to rub belly button on her. That's for getting on. Well, we gotta finish the game. Okay. What's next? Um, beans were. How many? How many times you rode her? Twice. <coughs> wow. All right. What time is it? I don't know. Ten to five. Phone. That's it. Ten to five. Yeah. We got lots of time. Come on over here. So we're going to do, this folks, is going to be how to saddle a colt, okay? One of the prerequisites is, is that we need to have, be able to swing stuff around. And we've already been swinging stuff around. And we're going to swing the saddle up, right? So this right here is a prerequisite. Todd, you can creep over there and get your saddle and your blanket and put it down in front, right where you're standing. As I get this filly ready for the saddle. 